Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam explains why he might not respond to your YouTube comments. And, wait, what? Not respond to comments? Wow, we just found out that Adam sounds like a major douche. Now wait, wait, wait. Before you start screaming at me, hear me out. First, if you are watching this video on my website, greenhornlinux.com, you may have noticed I've disabled all comments. Now, I have done this on purpose, and I've just done this for simplicity's sake. It's my goal to keep comments all on one place, and I have chosen to do this through YouTube and not on my website. Yes, it's true, I may not respond to all of the YouTube comments. Now keep in mind, I encourage lots and lots of comments, and I will respond to as many as I possibly can. Here are the types of comments that I 100% encourage. Any comments with suggestions and tips on how I can present the information better in the future. Any comments that point out a mistake or uh, potentially a much more efficient way of doing the method that I presented on. And finally, any tips, suggestions, or anything that you would possibly like to see in the future that will enhance the videos. Here are the types of questions I'm a lot less likely to respond to. Adam, I tried your method didn't work. Help. Or Adam, I don't think I have my driver's card configured properly. Help. Even if I know the answers, which more than likely I probably won't, uh, the response will be super, super in-depth. Because they'll be super, super in-depth, I probably won't have time to give a very good answer. For those types of questions, your best bet is to do a Linux search, uh, either in a form or uh, Google, and you can also check out some of the IRC uh, chat rooms uh, with various Linux communities. These communities are going to be 5,000, actually probably more like 100,000 times better at answering these types of questions for you than I ever will be. Now, I'm not trying to discourage YouTube comments. Actually, it's quite the opposite. I encourage all types of comments. It's just that I wanted to let you know my stance on YouTube comments and explain why I may either A, not respond, or B, why the answer may be super short. Feel free to ask questions. Uh, if I do have time and I know the answer, who knows? Maybe I will respond. Because I don't want to sound like a major, major douche, here are some places that'll help get you started. First, any kind of search engine, such as Google, Yahoo, whatever. Use those to try to find the information that you're looking for. Also, most distributions have forms or places that you can search and ask questions uh, to that distribution's community. Also, most distributions have their own forms, uh, which are wonderful places to uh, ask the community questions and find any information that you're looking for on a specific distribution. If you happen to be running any kind of Ubuntu-based distribution, help.ubuntu.com is a wonderful place to start. Apparently, there is a saying that I just recently found out in Linux. It's called RTFM, or Read the Fine Manual. Well, or at least that is the G version of the acronym. The basic concept of RTFM is first read the manual or any documentation that you can find, then do a proper search to see if someone has already asked this question and an answer has been given, and then if you're still stuck, that's when you ask the community to see what is uh, a potential solution to your problem. It's my goal with these videos to help bridge the divide between reading the actual documentation and learning Linux. There's a lot of great articles out there explaining how to do a lot of things, but uh, me personally, I'm more of a hands-on and I actually like to see how it's being done. So that's my goal for trying to create screencasts to help bring this to the masses. And if you're still with me, uh, here are some of the next videos that will be coming up. Discussion on Linux, pros and cons. A discussion on how Linux works. Discussion on options on how to try out Linux. Then eventually some screencasts on how to go through the different methods of installing Linux. Be sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com. Thanks for watching.